What's going on Halo fans, Luke the Notable here. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to escape in Halo 5. One thing that I think a lot of people don't really understand about Halo and pretty much any other shooter or game in the industry is that it's not all about gunfights and 1v1 interactions. Sure, there are times in Halo where you need to go pistol to pistol with another guy and if you come out on top, you're the victor. But 1v1 gunfights are not the only thing that you need to be good at in order to win a game of Halo. So today we're going to talk a little bit about escapes and choosing your battles from the beginning. I actually talked about this over a year ago when I was doing my free-for-all championship grind. But since then I've got tens of thousands of new fans and I decided to make a whole video dedicated to escapes. So without further ado, let's get into it. Speaking of escaping, you should escape into some Halo lore knowledge. That's because this video is sponsored by Audible. Audible is an Amazon company that offers free audiobooks to you. If you go down to the link in the description, not only will you get a free trial of Audible, but you will also get a free audiobook that you can keep even if you cancel. It's completely risk-free and it helps me out a lot. So if you want to support me and get some free Halo lore knowledge, go check out the link in the description. So we're going to start this video by talking about the basics of escaping. And in my opinion, the basics of escaping are, well, don't put yourself in a situation where you have to escape from in the first place. Part of being good at Halo is playing very smart. And part of playing very smart is only choosing gunfights that you think that you have a good chance of winning. I see far too many people playing far too aggressive. A lot of people will try to play Halo like Call of Duty. They'll try to run around the map and get as many kills as they can because the time to kill in Call of Duty is so low. But in Halo, there are so many things that you can do to avoid death. It's very difficult to just run around the map like that and still do well. Okay, so we're going to hop over on to some live commentary, kind of show you a little bit on how to pick your battles, because I know that's kind of a weird concept for some of you. So I said before, try not to fight anyone that you don't think that you can kill. If you aren't absolutely sure that you can kill another player, then don't even try fighting them. Now, it does take a pretty trained person to understand exactly you know, when to run from a fight and when to stand your ground. But if you practice this and you kind of keep that in the back of your head when you're playing games, uh, it'll get a lot easier to do. So in this situation, there's a guy top mid. I mean, there's really nothing stopping me from shooting at him. Uh, you know, it's not like he's going to rush me super hard. Um, if I shoot at him just a little bit, there's nothing that's going to, you know, stop me from just coming back here if I get my shields low and, and he starts to take the upper hand. Um, in this situation, though, there's two guys, so I'm going to get out of here. I don't even want to try to fight two guys, so I'm just going to leave that situation, um, try to move to a spot where maybe I have a little bit more cover uh, and a, a little bit more chance to run away. It didn't work out because my team ended up spawning on the other side. Also, we got this guy, Free Riley, uh, who is not playing. He's, he's a little ditz. Oh, he's playing. Okay. But that's kind of what you want going through your head, you know, throughout a game of Halo is, uh, am I going to be able to kill these guys? You want to constantly be looking at your radar, things like that. You know, assessing if you're uh, in a one-on-one -on -one situation or if you're in a spot where, you know, maybe there's going to be more than one guy. Uh, are you in a spot where maybe you can get a lucky nade? Like there I knew I was in a spot perfectly to nade trap him, so I wasn't going to back down. But I was definitely on a lower plane than he was, so I wanted to move out of that situation because I didn't want to fight someone um, that was higher than him. It's always easier to fight someone if you're on the high ground, and that's one thing to remember. So this guy got completely chewed up because I was on the high ground. I was able to dance around him. I was able to uh, completely destroy him. I will say escapes are a little bit weird to talk about when you play on a gamer tag like mine. Um, whenever you're using kind of a, a notorious gamer tag, uh, people will chase you down and try to get a kill and teabag you. So uh, it will be a little bit easier for you guys to escape and you guys to pick your battles. Um, ha playing on this gamer tag, I think, has made me exceptionally good at, at choosing who I want to fight and choosing the situations that I want to be in. But it's really just putting yourself in that mindset of you know, not running around the map, picking your battles, choose who you want to fight, don't fight anyone that you don't think that you can absolutely kill. So here, I don't know how many people are in top mid, uh, but I do have delivered one here who's going to help me out uh, if anything does happen. If I was solo here and I just I didn't know how many players were going to push me, um, that's when you want to run away. Uh, but in my situation there, I had a teammate that was going to help me out. So I know for a fact that I have teammates shooting over in that side over there, so I know the enemies are over there. But I've also seen two of my teammates die. So I, I want to be careful over here, because I know that if there's a, a, enough guys over here to kill two of my teammates, then there's probably a couple dudes here. We ended up coming out on top. Uh, because we pushed in together and they pushed in one at, uh, you know, one at a time. Uh, but anytime you see a lot of death from your teammates, you want to be very careful. Okay, so now we're going to actually try to show you how to escape and show you some techniques to do that. 
When you're trying to escape, there are essentially two things that you want to keep in mind. The first is called strong sighting, and strong sighting is when you put your head down and walk away from your target. What this will do is it will make your head harder to hit from behind. And I know it can be hard to walk around the map like this, but if you play Halo long enough and you practice enough on the map, oh, okay, I got killed by a shotgun. I kind of deserve that though. But if you play Halo long enough, you should be able to understand the map geometry and you should be able to at least somewhat move around the map. So I know there's stairs, I'll be able to turn right, I can turn left and maybe get up these stairs up here. Yep, there we go. Should be something to my right that I can run down and basically we're back to where we were. So moving around effectively while strong sighting is just something you need to practice and it's something that you need to get into the habit of. The second little tactic that I wanna show you is the slide boost. You may have seen tons of people do that. It's a very quick way to get across the map very fast. I'll do that one more time. You can even do it uphill. Just a fast way of getting around the map. And if it looks difficult, that's just because I've been doing it for a very long time. At, you know, honestly, it's part of my muscle memory now. It's actually a very easy combo to learn. Now, in order to do this, you need to make sure that toggle crouch is turned off. Uh, that's in your controller settings. Go down to toggle crouch and turn that off. Um, and then what you'll want to do with the button combo is just, let me pick up a shotgun, is start sprinting. And when you see those little lines, that means that you're moving at full speed and your thrusters are turned on. And then the button combo is very simply just thrust, crouch. Now you want to make sure not to thrust and crouch at the same time. I've made a whole video on this that you can actually check out, uh, but in its simplest, uh, in simplest terms, just thrust, crouch, and you can do a little jump to even increase your speed a little bit there. If you've never seen that before or don't exactly know how to do it, I do recommend checking out the video that I created showing exactly how to do it. It's much more in depth than this quick and dirty little guide. But basically, I came into this game to get into some bad situations and show you guys how I get away from them, show you guys how I move about the map when I'm trying to escape once I determine that the, sh the battle that I'm in is not for me. So again, like we said before, one of the most important things about escaping is not putting yourself in these situations to begin with, but let's say I wanted to get away from this guy. First thing you need to do is create distance. Use your little thrust strafe. Get some distance away from him. Move across different verticalities. Move across different parts of the map. Eventually, once you get him off your radar or you get some teammates in between you, crouch, wait three seconds for your shields to recharge, and you're back in the game. One important thing is don't do anything too predictable. If I get shot from over here and I want to run, obviously I'm going to run in this direction. Instead of, oh, here we go. I'm not going to do something predictable here. I'm just going to pretend like this guy, uh, you know, I'm going to run from him. I'm going to go down here and try to see if I can move away, always ending crouching. Three seconds, my shield's recharged, and I'm back in the fight. We got ourselves one shot. I'm gonna move to a completely opposite area of the map, use that thrust, create some distance, and start crouching. Let's say we get in a fight with this guy. He hits me with the battle rifle a couple times. I need to get out of there. First thing I gotta do is get out of his immediate line of sight, create some distance, find a corner, sit in it, wait for my shield to recharge. Then I can move towards where he was. Oh, he's dead, but I could have. Just remember that the good escape always starts before you even meet the person you're trying to escape from. Try to get into a spot where you don't even have to escape from in the first place. So when I'm moving around this map, I'm always staying in spots where there's cover. I'm always staying in spots where maybe I have a getaway. Uh, I'm never really just sitting on you know, the middle of the map. I hate when I see someone on a map of Halo just doing something like this. You know, standing on you know a spot which is very easy to see from multiple angles, or or standing up here on top, maybe with the sniper looking for kills. You know, looking down all these angles, looking to try to maybe quick scope someone. That's not the way that you're going to play Halo and win very well. The way you're going to play Halo and win, you know, a lot of the time is you're going to have to sit in here, sit in a spot where the sniper should be. You know, back hidden away. I already said that before that Halo isn't about the gunfights. It's not about the quick scopes. It's about playing smart, doing the right thing for your team. Even though I'm not getting a whole load of kills back in this back part right here, and I could probably get more if I was up top mid with those guys, uh, if I left my spot over here, they might be exposed from behind. So I'm doing a job, you know, maybe just as important at the guys that were sitting top mid, just by sitting back here with the sniper rifle, keeping it safe, keeping their backs covered. If you play smart enough, especially in a team-based game, you'll only die when someone on your team lets up and, and, you know, moves out of their spot. If I'm vigilant here, there's no way that I can die if I play smart enough, because I'm going to know exactly where everyone's coming from. Like, there's going to be a guy around in this corner, and I'm going to blame him right there. Ultimately, all you have to do is be smart, 
escape when you need to, and don't fight anyone that you don't have to, and your KD will soar in Halo 5. That is all for the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something about escaping in Halo. Don't feel bad if you're running away from gunfights. Halo lets you live a little bit longer so that you can live to fight another day. Avoid death and get more kills. If you have any questions please comment down below. I love reading comments. It's my favorite part about YouTube and I will answer any questions down there. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching. Stay notable and I will see you in the next video. Bye.